on today's ProPresenter show, Recovering Your Unlock Code for ProPresenter. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where every week I help you with renewed visions, great presentation software, Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Occasionally I'll hear people say, Oh no, I've lost the unlock code to Pro Presenter. What do I do? Well, let's uh, head over to my computer and I'm going to show you the steps that I would take. There are three and the order that I would do them in so that you don't have that problem. So let's head over and take a look. Let's say you're starting up uh, ProPresenter and you run into this. Now you, your version is registered. You shouldn't be running into this, but this is what you're seeing. How do you get past that? Well, the very first thing that I would do if I were you is when you get the email from Renewed Vision with the unlock code, print that out. Print it out, frame it, put it in the media booth, just make it simple not to lose. Make it simple to find when you need it, etc. Although, I would suspect when you're watching this video that you already have a problem in that you don't have it and you can't find it. So, here's what I would do as a backup. Remember that Renewed Vision doesn't necessarily... Um, they're not responsible for keeping these codes, but a lot of times they can find them. If you go to renewedvision.com slash request underscore lost underscore code dot php, I'll leave a link to that below the video. If you go there, you can type in the email address that you use to, re uh, to register ProPresenter, and you should be able to click retrieve and this, well, First I would click the I'm not a robot, then I would click retrieve, and you should be able to retrieve that. But let's say that it was someone else that registered it, and they're no longer at the church, maybe it was a volunteer, maybe it was someone that's moved on to other things. So, how do you do that? You scroll down here to email address no longer valid. Now you're going to have to fill out a lot of information here, um, but it's absolutely worth doing and it's worth doing before you have the problem because a lot of times uh, this is a manual process and they can't necessarily be reached when you need them so what I would do if I were you is I would go ahead and do this ahead of time and then go from there so that is um, Basically, the process is process number one, print it out, frame it, make sure it's not easy to lose. Process number two, use this field right here on the website. If that doesn't work or can't work, do this one. So that way you can um, get exactly what you need to fix that registration problem. Well, I hope that helps you. Remember, print it out. Print it out, frame it, put it somewhere safe where you can't lose it, where you don't have to go fumbling through. Ideally, it would be somewhere where if you have this problem, you can glance up and just type it in and get going as you were. So that's the ideal solution, and the other solution is to recover it from ProPresenter. If the you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. Sign up over there, and uh, that way you'll get all sorts of updates, tips, and tricks about using church tech, some online webinars and question and answer sessions that I'm having from time to time. Uh, you'll get all those things and more. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Hey, on your way to going out to change eternity, I want you to do this one quick little thing. 
just take a second, click subscribe, and then click on the little bell icon to get notifications so that you can find out when these videos are posted and enter the contest that I'll have within the first 24 hours.